Rich Jenkins, okay, Harvard, all right. Uh, that's pretty darn impressive. Um, how's that feeling? Has that sunk in? And can you take me back to the moment when you found out? Um, yeah, so when I first found out, I was actually in Paris on a school trip. Um, and I was on the phone with my girlfriend and I had been so nervous for hours because I was, I wait, I was waiting you know, all day to hear the news. And like, so we're on the phone and I finally decide I'm gonna check you know, all my Ivy League decisions because they all come out at the same time. And I check UPenn first and I get waitlisted. I'm like, okay, that's not that bad. I check Yale and I get de denied. I'm like, all right, maybe time to start looking at some other schools. <laughs> and I check Harvard and I see the word welcome and I like threw my phone across the room. Uh. And uh, we're all like jumping around and it, it was a crazy time, it was a crazy time. But uh, crazy. it didn't really, sorry. No, no, it didn't really, we're gonna say sink in? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah it, it didn't really sink in until probably about a, a, a couple of days later when I was on the plane back. Uh, I was sitting around listening to music and I'm like, wow, I'm really about to go to Harvard. It, it was it was insane. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Can you just take me back from 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 the ne from now to going to Harvard from your childhood and some of the difficulties that you and your family faced? Um, so what, around sixth grade is kind of like when everything shifted. Uh, at the time, I was living in a homeless shelter in Germantown called the Wayne House. Um, we were basically just you know living, staying there until we could find a way to get off our feet. And I had a conversation with one of my friends uh, because he, we were walking home one day and he asked me where I lived and Wayne House kind of looks like just that, a big house. It looks like it could be a mansion. Um, so I was like, yeah, I live there. And he, he, he goes, oh, you guys own that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we do. And it took, it took a little while, but eventually I started thinking about it. I'm like, oh God, I really should not have lied about that. Um, and I, I started feeling bad because I'm like, I shouldn't, I, I really don't even like the fact that I'm in this position to, mm. you know, be able to need to lie about that. Mm. And so that's when I kind of like flipped the switch and decided, yeah, it's time to make a change.